and welcome to the Gadget Show Web TV. Now, the way that you watch movies and listen to your music has changed a little bit since VHS and take cassettes. But what does the future hold? Well, here is an insight into the future. From just five terrestrial TV channels, VHS to CDs, over the past 20 years, the way you access your favorite films, TV programs, and music has exploded into a digital world. Sky led the way in multi-channel viewing, iTunes paved the way how you access music, and the internet meant you could access even more media content online. But what does the future hold? Well, Web TV went along to Insight 360 to find out how you could be accessing your movies and music in the future. We're surrounded by new devices and fantastic bits of consumer electronics which are really changing the way that consumers can access content and that's opened up a huge amount of opportunity in terms of how content is produced but also the way that you can find that content online and how you can experience it. Media streaming is just one aspect of tech that has progressed and Blinkbox is one of those many streaming services that will be giving you even more ways of watching movies. So you can access uh, Blinkbox via Blinkbox.com um, and that's obviously PC and Mac based um, but also we've teamed up with Samsung and we're soon to be launching on the Samsung TVs and we're working with other internet connected enabled TVs for the future so smart TVs as soon as more of those in the marketplace Blinkbox will be there uh, plus we're working on uh, tablet devices as well Blinkbox uh, aims to kind of have everything from all the big releases that, that are available but also look at those niche titles that are, are for a selected audience as well Everything lives within the cloud system of Blinkbox, so you don't have to download anything, it just streams straight away. But it's not just about how you access media content, it's how you watch it, and Virgin's new TiVo gives you a whole new viewing experience. The, the main advantage really is that it's easy. It's easy for the consumer to use, and, and we think that rapidly things can get very complicated. You know, you've got lots of devices in the home, you've got lots of inputs into your TV, whether it's through your, your games platform, your set-top box, your, your DVD player, uh, and TiVo brings it all together in a really easy-to-use way. What it allows you to do is to search across absolutely everything, live TV, on-demand, catch-up, even the web as well, um, to find those shows that are really your, your favourite shows. If you don't quite know what you want, you can also browse across you know, genres, you can browse for actors or directors or other things you like. Uh, and perhaps most magic of all is the recommendations engine that sits underneath all of this. Uh, and that allows you to find stuff that you may not have known you liked, but actually you discover you really like. And, and that works on very clever technology that matches what uh, the sort of things that you've rated, uh, that you like using our thumbs up and thumbs down, uh, against what other people who like the same sort of shows also watched. So the more that people use the service, the more accurate those recommendations become. Uh, and we think this is going to revolutionise the way you watch uh, TV. So how you access your media has certainly evolved, and with cloud streaming services, it's set to get bigger. Ultraviolet, on live, and the iCloud are just a few ways that will allow you to download, stream and sync your games, movies, music and more to multiple devices wherever you are.